problem, let's look at the second element of your online business being the website. Again, you can have your website designed as complicated as it can be, as colorful as you want. However, my advice is to keep it simple. Three key elements is what you have to have to have a functioning e-business website. The first thing you need is a domain name and a website a hosting company. Google.com is a domain name. Yahoo.com is a domain name. They're very cheap. If you are serious about your online business, you have to have your own domain name. GoDaddy is the biggest domain registration service in the world. They used to be the cheapest until I have this, ikis.net. That is my company that is cheaper than GoDaddy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Because we have hundreds of thousands of customers registering to main name every year, we had the buying power, the financial strength to, you know, to strike a good deal with the back-end provider. We don't make any money off this. You register to main name at iKids.net, you save a couple of dollars every time. So we pass the savings on to our clients. Now, as far as website hosting service, of course, another my company, hostingbay.com.au or hostingbay.net is the same company, mine, and we provide first-class website hosting service to our customers. And of course, the number one thing that you look for from a website, a hosting company, is reliability, okay? There's no difference between $40 a year or $100 a year of hosting fee because the last thing you want to find is as soon as you launch your major campaign, your website goes down because of the hosting company couldn't handle the traffic volume. Are you with me? This is the disaster, we call it. If you launch a campaign, then you know, your website goes down. What can be worse than that, right? So reliability is what you're looking for from a website, a hosting company. And often people say their uptime is 99.9%, 99.8%. Whatever they say on their website, from website, a hosting company's website, they are not the the, the, the historic performance measurement. They are, this is their guarantee. And if you read the, the fine print, which what they actually say is that if their uptime go below that guaranteed percentage, they'll refund your money on a parado basis. Okay, now with Hosting Bay for the last 24 months, we had a zero downtime, which means every single website that we hosted was online for the last 24 months. Now that's called the reliability, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, the second element your, of your website is, of course, sales copy, which is the content of your website. Of course, you can write your own sales copy if you want, or you can use Brit McForce software, Burpees by Brit, to generate that software, or you can completely outsource it. Outsource it. Let other people to write, let some professional copywriter write a sales copy for you. All you have to do is to send them a copy of that ebook, which could be written by a ghostwriter. You see, so far we haven't done anything yet, have we? Apart from doing some marketing research, you know? And the last thing you need is a way of accepting payment online from your website. PayPal is a good place to go, and the ClickBank as well. I used to be the top seller at ClickBank for quite a few years, but later I left them. Why? Because every time they charge you a dollar plus seven and a half percent. Now, in the beginning of your business, that is perfectly okay to use them because if you don't make sales, they don't charge you. If you make sales, then they charge you. But when the, my business went over fifty thousand dollars a month, I looked at it. It was quite a lot of money for them to take away from my business. So I decided to start my own merchant account uh, when I have to pay only 1.3%, okay? Now that's later, you don't have to worry about it now. As I said, that every single time, I recommend multiple resources so that you can go to this website to see which way is the best fit for your business model, whether it's PayPal or whether it's ClickBank, depending on the product or de depending on your potential market, you know, whatever that is the best, most convenient for your customers. That's about a website, you see? I don't like to make things more complicated than it has to be. Don't try to mark around with your website. Change the background, the color, change the font, change the size of your, you know, of your, your, your headline and so on. Don't mark around with it. Just make it work. Then you come back fine-tuning it only when you know whatever you are going to do to your website is going to improve the performance of it. Otherwise, just leave it alone. Again, this is 99% of people how, why they never get started online because they keep marking around with their website. Make it work then come back doing 